Hey everyone! So in this video, I'm going to make a cool little craft, which is this piranha plant pot. It'd be a great addition to your gaming collection. For this, you'll need black, green, white, pastel green and red hammer beads, a green felt sheet, a pot that's roughly 11cm wide, and a foam oasis to fit inside. Hey Bowie, I didn't know. If it requires painting like mine, you'll also need light green acrylic paint and plastic coat clear satin sealer spray. You'll need some pegboards and an iron for the hammer beads too. So to start with, you need to make the hammer bead design on the pegboards for the pot. The reference for this is straight from the game itself, but you'll need about 6 extra beads for the bottom. This will make sure it will sit nicely inside the oasis in the pot without too much of the top part sinking in. After that you iron it for about 1-2 to two minutes on a mediumish setting, leave it to cool for a little while and then iron the back for another 1-2 to two minutes. Make sure when they're cooling that you've got something heavy and flat to place on top. I prefer to iron the front and back like this because I feel like it strengthens the designs more, which is good for tall ones like this so it won't bend so much. After that, get the pot itself and if it's not already painted, go over it with the light green paint. Best method of painting it is to do the inside first, leave it a little while to dry, then do the outside. You might just need at least two coats of paint to make it a solid green colour. Let the paint settle for at least a couple of hours, then use a plastic coat spray to protect the paint and make sure it'll stay in so it won't wear off over time. Try not to spray it too close and wear a mask to protect yourself from the fumes. The final step is to put it all together. Get the foam oasis and put it inside the pot. It might just need a bit of cutting to fit it inside. Try the felt around the oasis now and again cut off any that you don't need. Gently press down the bottom of the hammer bead design into the foam so you can work out where it's going to go and then cut a small line out of the felt where it'll go in. Carefully push the design into the foam and then your trumpet friend is all finished. There are many other designs you can use, you just do a similar technique of putting it all together. It's all up to you what you feel like designing. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and leave a comment for any other craft videos you want to see in the future. Ladies everyone!